Hey guys, what's up? It's Connor here bringing you an MW3 MOAB on Village, which is a pretty great map for just running around in the spawn when they're stuck at A. So I get my MOAB using the P90 with rapid fire and silencer, and I go 43 and 2, so it's a, it's a pretty decent game. But that's not what this series is about, guys. This is It Is Written Again, and today we are talking about patience. Patience is somebody something that I'm pretty sure nobody has I know for a fact I don't have patience and this is why this is actually what brought me um, oh Which made me bring this up in today's conversation because I was like last night had a, a Basketball game that I thought should have been canceled. It was at school that was about an hour away And it was like it was snowing like crazy our bus driver had to get out twice to make sure She was still on the road because she couldn't see yeah, that's just ridiculous. And on the way home, it took like two and a half hours to get home. And I was like, this is unbelievable. I was so impatient. I was so fidgety. I could just like not stop moving. I was like, this is the most annoying drive of all time. I cannot believe there was cars in the ditches and stuff. I was just, it was just not a good drive at all. And then, I, and so today I was like, which, which topic should I do? And I was like, that's it. We're doing patience. Now, what is patience? I'm pretty sure people have a general understanding of patience. But patience is the ability to endure provoca... Prov <laughs> I can't spell or talk or whatever. The ability to endure provocation, annoyance, misfortune, or pain with calm and strength. I don't actually like pro provocation or whatever it is. Provocation. I don't know. I can't, I can't really... Uh, Pronounce it, but it's like when someone's like annoying you, someone's like, you know, just being basically annoying, which your little brother does all the time when he kind of, when he, when he knows what buttons to push to make you mad, that's what that is. And patience is also the ability to tolerate delay. And now, I mean, it, it sounds like such a simple thing. It's just like you're able to tolerate stuff. You're able to deal with annoying stuff. But I mean, <laughs> annoying things are crazy annoying, I guess. I don't really know what other word for it. But no one likes people that are annoying. No one likes annoying things. And so, I mean, patience. There are so many benefits to being patient. But it's really hard to be patient because, I mean, there's so much stuff out there. Computers are out there to do quickly what us humans can't do. Cars are out there that make that can go faster than we can walk or run, and they make life easier. Airplanes can fly you anywhere in the world in a ridiculous amount of time. It, everything just goes so fast. Everybody makes you believe that you should be that stuff needs to be done quickly. I mean, whenever you're doing anything, it's like get it done, get it done, get it done in a test. You got 30 minutes, get this test done. Um, when you're playing a game, it's like hurry up, push the ball down the court, push the ball down the court, or get your dishes done, or hurry up and do your homework. I mean, everything is just so fast page um proactivity or just never having a dull moment or always getting something done is taught everywhere we are told not to wait on anything we're not to, we're told i mean at school they're like do not just sit there and collect dust do something always do something always be reading your book doing homework doing everything i mean we are conditioned and we are made to be aggressive and to be going after stuff and always doing things but it's it's pretty hard when you're doing all this stuff and you don't get anything done and you start to get depressed or you start to be disheartened about the result of stuff because you just don't have patience you're not waiting for it to get done some stuff that you want stuff done quickly and if it's not done quickly you become because uh, you start to become annoyed and you start to become frustrated that's not getting done and it's just because that you don't have any patience you just um i don't know you just don't you need it done right now but you need to develop patience. Patience is just such a such a key thing to keep you from getting annoyed, to keep you from getting angry. There are a couple of ways that you can make yourself a little more patient. You gotta first first and foremost, you gotta figure out which makes you the most impatient. For the most part, it's when something um, when we're on a tight schedule, we need to get stuff done, and it's just not getting done fast enough. And you're trying to stretch yourself out and just trying to get everything done as fast as you can. But you need to um, you need to learn to share your load with um, share your load or and help like ah, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. You should you want to make try. Oh my goodness gracious! I cannot talk. You want to try to um, help delegate or share your loads with other self. So it it might test your patience, but if you can learn to share what you want to do, I know I'm a type of person. I'm like I don't want you doing this because I want it done right. But sometimes if you're stretched out too thin, you got too much stuff to do. You just have to let someone. 
someone else help you. It just has to be done. And another important thing is pinpoint the stuff that influences you to lose your patience. It's a lot of times it's something that um, you have a hard time accepting. You have a hard time oh something's gosh, going slow. No You've got a hard time accepting that someone else can help you do your job so you don't have to feel this stressed out about it. But you just want to do it yourself. And once you do this, write it down. F figure out the stuff that makes you patient or impatient so you can just look at it. So you can be like, well... You can just take a deep breath and realize, well, I'm in a situation where I'm going to get impatient. I just got to gotta learn to deal with it. And if I can get over this, I will not be stressed. I will not be stressed out at all. And now you got to overcome your bouts of impatience. Right when you get impatient, take a deep breath and just remember, all right, I just got to gotta let this go. Got to let it go on. Got to keep moving. It'll get over soon enough. Like the car ride will be done or all my stuff will get done if I just take a deep breath sit back and kind of spread out the load even if you're not sharing the load per se if you've got homework and you can split it up into sections makes it so much easier it'll get that it'll help you get the stress um out of what you're doing and there now to oh my goodness gracious <laughs> i cannot talk today now there are some benefits of having the patience once you write it down once you figure out all the stuff that's making you annoying or that makes you annoyed makes you impatient makes you not just makes you want to move on you have to um develop the patience and you write it down and you take those deep breaths and you're just like all right I'll get through this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to wait. This car ride will be over, and I'm not going to whine and complain and be impatient about it. I'm just going to let life go on, and it can reduce your stress level. When you learn and practice patience, you won't get as angry, stressed, or overwhelmed. You won't be needing stuff to get done right this moment. And like today, I was trying to get this video already before I made this commentary, and I was like, this is taking forever. But I just got to take the deep breath and just got to, you have to let it come, and you won't be so stressful. Now, it'll also help you make better decisions. If you take the time to assess the situation and see the big picture, you can weigh the pros and the cons. You can just take that deep breath and you can just, instead of just making your decision right away, you can be patient. You can think about your decision. You can make, it'll help you make better decisions. If you just take that extra couple of seconds to think about it, to think about what's going on. And it'll help you have a better understanding, empathy, and compassion if you have patience. Patient people take the time to process what they go through and they're able to determine what it takes to overcome obstacles so they're more understanding with others. This can make for better friends, friendship relationships, rare relationship with your boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever. It, this can just, if you just develop the understanding, if you just understand what's going on and you process, you take a little, take a second out and don't make a rash decision and you just process everything that's going on, it can help you understand a little bit more. And it helps you understand and appreciate the process of growth. All this stuff takes time. For you to grow up, you don't grow up from the time you're zero to five and all of a sudden, boom, you're grown up. No, it takes about, I don't know, let's say 21 years so you become an adult, at least here in the U.S., that's what it takes. And it, it takes time. Everything just takes time to build up. It's a good thing you're not thrown into adulthood when you're five because you haven't lived it through anything yet when you're five. You've been fed from a bottle your entire life. You're eating Gerber's baby food. I mean, you're spoon-fed, uh, physically spoon-fed and literally spoon-fed, and you just don't have the time, the patience. You need patience. And now to develop the patience, another good things is um is to slow down just slow down is a really really easy way i mean just take that time again just take a take a couple seconds to um to just think about stuff and just slow yourself down and you will be it'll help you develop patience you need to develop some realistic expectations and don't expect yourself like for example on youtube i'm not expecting myself to be up there at 10,000 subscribers tomorrow it's going to take time it'll take if i ever even get there i don't even know if i'll get there but if i do it's going to take time and i just have to be patient i have to not rush into it same with these commentaries. I can't just, this is like my third time going through this one already because I didn't feel like I was doing it well enough. And that happens a lot of time. I just got to be patient so I can put out um, the best content that I can put out there. And you have to have the faith you can overcome a difficult situation. You have to have faith that your patience will help you. Um, that being patient, oh my gosh, <laughs> you will have the faith that you can overcome something. You have to know, you can't just be like, oh, I don't think I can do this. I'm just going to try it as fast as I can. But no, slow down, take a second, and know, think that you'll be able to get over this and just be like, all right, just take my time, and I'll get right through this. So that's 
basically patience is just slowing down and thinking about your stuff it's hard to do but that's just how it happens and god says love is patient love is kind it does not envy it does not boast patience is part of the um fruits of the spirit joy peace patience kindness goodness gentleness faithfulness self-control forgiveness i don't know something else <laughs> there's something else in there i'm not actually looking at those right now but patience is just so important so i hope you guys learned a little something something and i'll see you guys later adios